Curtis, and welcome to today's daily devotional in the book of Ephesians, as we continue in Ephesians chapter number 1, and we'll look as we carry on in verse number 11, where the Bible tells us, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Last time we talked about seeking the will of God not just for eternity, but each and every day and moment by moment. And that really is the essence of the Spirit-filled life, which we'll talk about today a little bit. Not the Spirit-filled life, but the Holy Spirit. As we see in verse 13, it says, "...in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise." Yes, the Holy Spirit that comes to dwell within us after salvation. And that is something that is true, biblical, and that is exactly what happens. When you call upon the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ, for salvation, we are, as it says right there in that verse, sealed with the Holy Spirit. See, our body would be a trichotomy, so to speak, with body, soul, and spirit. And there is an emptiness there prior to salvation. And I believe that that's part of the crying out, is that there's something missing. There's an emptiness in our bodies that uh, needs to be filled. And a lot of times uh, in the world, they fill it with many different things, Uh, whether it be the pleasures of this world, whether it be substance abuse, whether it be many different things they try to fill it with, and it just never satisfied because it is a place reserved for the Holy Spirit that comes to dwell within us at salvation. And that's what it says right there in that verse, It says, after that ye have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. And that's a wonderful thing. We have the Holy Spirit that dwells within us, and the Holy Spirit is our partner. Um, It's not as though we can be uh, possessed by the Holy Spirit in that the Holy Spirit controls our actions. No, the Holy Spirit is a person that dwells within us. He can speak to us. He can encourage us. He can guide us. But we still maintain free will. And with the Holy Spirit, though, it's a wonderful presence to have with us because we see that the Holy Spirit does uh, come dwell within us, and he is a comforter. John 14, 16 says, And I will pray the Father, he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you, what, forever. The comforter that dwells within us, that speaks to us. In the book of Acts, chapter 13, uh, the Bible says, The Holy Ghost said, Separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them. Now, this this will not be um, that we hear the Holy Spirit in an audible, booming voice, but those of us that are saved understand what that sounding of the voice of the Holy Spirit. It's just that, uh, would it be a presence of a speaking of just say, where we would say something to the effect of, Something told me to. And we just know it's of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us pray. The book of Romans says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Uh, When we go to the prayer closet and we want to pray, and we don't know what to do, we can ask the Holy Spirit to help us and guide us. And the Holy Spirit shows us truth when we're reading God's Word. It says, Unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God, For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Have you ever been reading your Bible and just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, something just makes sense to you? Something perhaps that you hadn't seen before. And you're thinking, wow, why did I never see that before? That's the Holy Spirit illuminating that for you, showing you and giving you that wisdom. And that's what he wants us to do. He wants to teach us and help us remember. John 14 again says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall what? Teach you all things and bring things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Uh, A simple illustration of that is how many times have you been speaking to somebody, perhaps about God or the Bible, and all of a sudden you find yourself reciting a verse that you know you've heard, but oddly enough you were surprised that you were able to recite it word for word. Well, that's the Holy Spirit helping you. And he does that each and every day. And what a blessing it is to have the Holy Spirit dwelling within us uh, after salvation to help us, to guide us, to teach us, 
and just to walk along with us. So use that as your encouragement today. Remember, you are not alone. Uh, those of you that have called upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, you have the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, dwelling within you. Everybody have a good day until next time.